naked man been chased by T-Rexes. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the video. This is Ark Survival Evolved on the Volcano custom map. It's, uh, it's kind of early access, isn't it, really? It's not 100% it's not finished, but it is very good, very pretty. And today I'm joined by Havoc Plays, who you may or may not have already heard of. They better refer to me. <laughs> <laughs> And those for you coming from my channel, this is uh, Turbo. We're doing a little collaboration on Ark, so I'm no longer alone. This is nice. He's getting eaten by copies, so we should probably head through the cave. Oh yeah. Well, no, he's just he's, he's just stood there. He's just stood there. Oh, he's, he's just he's just hanging out. And now he's leaving. Oh, he changed and his mind. Now he's climbing a rock. And now the other one's joined in. No, oh, maybe they're taking yeah, turns. There's a few gathering. There's a few gathering. So let's. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so uh, three's three's a crowd and gets dangerous. <laughs> yeah, you don't want you don't want too many of those. So, Turbo had a bunch of guys gathered up. Uh, he tamed a bunch of stuff, and he was all the way on the other side of the map. I don't know where you were, but oh god, I was all the way down south. <laughs> we just had ourselves quite the journey. It was it was pretty thrilling. How many did That's we lose? Spectacular. We only lost one, right? Yeah, we just was, lost the one Allosaurus because it, yeah, I think it was passive and then just got lost somewhere. Yeah. So we're going to. The Bronto is the worst thing. The Bronto Yeah, the Bronto is a drag. <laughs> totally worth it, though. Having a Bronto is money. That's always great. Oh, gosh. All right. So <laughs> want to just do follow all? I could I could do it. This is gonna yeah, be... do that and I'll, I'll bring up the rear and make sure that nothing gets uh, left behind on a rock or anything. Yeah. So we're gonna. It should be fine. Yeah, we're gonna go underneath this little water area here. Probably die. Oh, did that guy pop out of the ground? By the way. Um. No, he's still there. Yeah, you want to go just pop him out real quick? Yeah, the Pelovia. Oh. Come, come hither. I'm just gonna kill this bear so he doesn't attack anything. Okay, he's following me now. He's a strange creature. Oh my gosh. Are you having problems over there already? <laughs> no, I just I just attacked something and this, this group is a force to be reckoned with. It's unreal. They're not a force for, they're not a swim team though, that's for sure. <laughs> Synchronized swim team. <laughs> At least we get the spino to kind of protect them. That's always good. Yeah, because I think it's the only thing that will happily fight in the water. I mean, the Bronto being quite tall, if it if it hits a bit of higher ground, it'll start swinging its tail. I wonder. I doubt there's any high ground in this water cave, though. I don't know. At the moment, the Bronto looks like it's walking, not swimming. Yeah, he's walking <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> All right, so he he's going to be uh, the one protecting the back of the group. I was going to say you should have the Spino follow you. That way. You're kind of like guiding the little protection unit. Because he's so fast, he's all the way in the front. Maybe he'll clear the way. Who knows? Oh, it seems to be alright so far. Did that that little. The... That pervivore thing jump out of the ground? Did he follow? Yeah, you? It's, it's, it's following me, yeah. Cool. It's a strange creature. Like, when he's swimming, he swims a lot like um, how a sloth swims. He's like a, a cross between a sloth, a beaver. And like a raccoon with that tail. <laughs> it's a mishmash probably, creature. Yeah, that is the ugliest description I've ever heard, though. <laughs> Pick three animals you don't want to look like. A sloth. <laughs> a beaver. I might, I might be Hey, turning. there's nothing wrong with sloths. Yeah, They're no, cool. Yeah, there was actually a new movie with a sloth in it. It was actually hilarious. Oh, Zootopia, yeah. Zootopia, yeah, yeah, that... <laughs> The sloth scenes with the DMV was just amazing. Yeah, those are great. Oh, man. <laughs> it was just so slow. Yeah, I saw an interview with the guy who did the voice for him. It was fantastic. How are we looking back there? Pretty good. I didn't realize how many things we had flying until it just stopped. <laughs> yeah, we are making slow making slow progress. Especially when it comes to the sloth-like sloth, thing. The sloth-like thing is a slow swimmer. I knew it. <laughs> I'm like, hurry up, come on. He's like, I am on <laughs> my <laughs> way. <laughs> 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 I 
I love the slosh of them. They made that movie. <laughs> like, forgot forgot everything else that happens. It's like, what was the best thing about the movie? Just the sloth. Just the sloth. <laughs> and the fact that the DMV is perfect. Yep, absolutely perfect. It's like, we're in a really big hurry. Sure, I can help <laughs> you. Great, thanks. Today. Okay. <laughs> Do you need the right license? Do you need license plate number? Yes. Okay, it's Jay. What is? <laughs> oh, they're Holy just, Christ! They're going on a kill fest. This was bound to happen. This is okay. <laughs> this is okay. This is part of the plan that we didn't arrange. <laughs> yeah. Totally part of the plan. So I guess we just got a small find a small area to. Oh, he's fast on land though. That's good. Oh, Wait, who's fast on land? The sloth. He's kind of. Oh yeah, yeah. Land. Hey, it's galloping behind me. Oh, look at the little baby. <laughs> that sounds like a big one. <laughs> I think the baby trikes take it for probably the cutest ones, as far as the small little guys go. Ah, uh, no, the, ba the baby turtles are the cutest. Uh, I haven't seen I one would, yet. I would say. I haven't seen one in the wild yet, no. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, uh... That's like Ninja Turtles, so I mean, before they uh, drink the ooze. That's just reminded me that the other film's out and I haven't seen it yet. Is it the second or the third? I think the third one is about to be in cinemas and the second one I haven't actually watched yet. Yeah, I think I watched the second one. It's like the Bebop guy or whatever. They all die, so. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Alright, come on. Not doing bad, actually. Nearly, this is pretty good. Nearly made it. Yeah, so we're going to build yeah, our the base. First, the, the first one was, was, was okay for, like, a Michael Bay film. It was, like, okay. Like, yeah. it, didn't, it didn't destroy my memory of the Ninja Turtles too much. <laughs> no, I have... Oh, we might have got something stuck. Oh, I might have got something stuck. Uh, yep, there's a there's a T Rex who looks very unhappy there. <laughs> or maybe he's happy. Maybe he likes rocks. <laughs> there's also one of those giant compy things. Oh god, just leapt off. Sweet. Now we're back on course again. That beaver thing is extremely weak. So he's. I doubt he's gonna make it. To be honest. I think we'll be alright. I've got the Spino and the Rex behind me here. Oh, that's good. I forgot you had a little policy. You're, you're slowly taking each one. By the end of this, you're going to have all of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah so just past these boats here. These <laughs> base boats. Base which boats. Which is more what they are. Base boats. There's this nice little waterfall. So we thought we'd build a base just in front of that. Looks very picturesque. Yeah, well, you good scenery. The, the moon there. That's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. Maximizing our resale value of the base. <laughs> Should yeah. we decide to move? <laughs> oh my god, this T-Rex! Turbo, you didn't tell me you were into real estate. <laughs> Let's go up here. Oh, it is cold come over on. here, though. Come huh? this way. Is it? Is it cold on that very edge? It might be. Or it might just be the time of day or whatever. Nope, it's that very edge I think is cold. That's weird. Yeah, there'll be a there'll be a very specific cutoff point. So we'll have to make sure that we don't build in it, but near it. Right, have I got the Rex with Yes, the Rex is with me now. Perfect. One day... <laughs> oh my god. I think you've turned that corner a bit too soon, because now there's lots of dinos just... Did I? Well, the Bronto has literally stuck his head inside the cliff. And he has his... Um, his bottom is sticking up in the air somewhat. <laughs> The, out the back of the cliff. Have I told you, seen you this? I told you you were going to have all of them at one point. Oh, I'll get this one. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Turn around. Singing You're your, freezing. Oh, no. Taking your song. Yeah, we got to get you some oh, supplies. Yeah. Oh, look at this little guy. The Dodicarus didn't want to. I need both of you. Come on. You guys are going to help us build our base. So oh my could... god, so many wild dinos have joined the posse. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good group. 
I'd join it. It is a good group. It's good protection. Yeah, the amount of T-Rexes you had just to start... I think that, that makes the group even better. I only have one of those T-Rexes, so... Yeah, so, I, was, I was really lucky to end up with so many T-Rexes. I think that little island plateau thing you were on is definitely like a a pretty dangerous place so it is it's just it's just t-rexes allosauruses and raptors just everywhere i haven't even like shown this little guy off yet the what is it called how do you say that you're english you can speak better than i can the, 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 the thing i was talking about earlier per a pelovia 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 he digs oh. a hole boom gone <laughs> You can't get him out for three days. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's true though. He has this like a mishmash of animal parts. He's Hello, cute. Trike. Okay. <laughs> okay, Trike. So, I guess we can start like... I might just set this little Dodicarus on Wander if we want to just start building a... Maybe with the pen or a base, whatever. What shall we start with? I've, I've learnt most of the stone parts other than like sloped roofs. Um... I haven't learnt much of metal. I have a ton of engram points still to spend. Yeah, I mean, I, I would like to have some sort of like metal interior and then like surrounded by stone. But we're, I mean, we have plenty of metal. We just kind of get to get the basics going first. Yeah, well, if we just build something out of, even if it's just wood or stone, just to get the basic shape, and then you can always replace the wooden panels. Yeah, for sure. Well, you get your Bronto here. Start whacking some trees. Ow. Oh. Oh, that was a wild algae. Just yeah. came out of nowhere. He didn't know what party he just joined. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> at least they're all set to follow, so they go back to where they should be. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, at least there isn't, like, friendly fire, because I would have been all kinds of stomped on just then. Yeah, they should probably make that more realistic. Pack of dinosaurs just walk just, on you. Just, just, just the moment your dinos aggro on something, you die. That'd be yes. That would that would add so much to Ark <laughs> in a game where you where you die for like almost every single reason possible. <laughs> where do you want the Where do you want the base to be? Are you thinking down there? Uh, I mean it's easier when the area is quite flat, but this is kind of all the, sloped. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to hit the tree and just everything's shaking. Um, oh, we don't really don't have know, something want... that kind of get, gathers wood good, does it? I mean, does the Bronto? Not really. I mean, using the axe, metal axe, you tend to get about 150 per tree anyway. So much hitting. Maybe I'll... Alright, is this guy gathering stone? I've already lost my Dodicarus. It's gone down the coast. Hey, get back here. Are you gathering stone? It's always funny. I, I like to just like have a T-Rex follow the Dodicarus when he's on Wander. <laughs> That's not a bad idea, actually. That way he has like a little oh. protection unit. Hey. I love that animation. <laughs> <laughs> they see me rolling. They hate. <laughs> oh, mm. is that what he does when he gets... Oh, I just leveled him up. So he just rolled on me. That's great. Let's go find you. Okay. okay, wooden foundations. We'll get five of those going. Yeah, what do you think? Do you think we should build right on the coast where it's slightly flatter? Or I think you can start off right with stone too, by the way, because I have the Dodicarus and he's getting a ton of stone. Ah, oh. okay. So he has like 500 stone on him already. Wow, I didn't know he gathered that well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I mean, think I've ever... <clears throat> I've never really tamed one before, actually. It's one thing I haven't tamed. Yeah, well, they're a pain, so that's probably why. I should go get the rest of the... I, I think I already have, like, a smithy made and stuff like that ready to go. Oh, ready for, um, moving house. <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea, then. I can fix my, um, armor. I'll probably make the metal armor as soon as possible, but I could fix the um, the chitin armor that I've got. All right, maybe I'll just bring an RG over there and try to grab some more stuff. Come here, you. Wait, wait, which one has the saddle? Oh, got the 
one with the saddle. Yeah, so I... Ooh, he has three stone foundations on him, too. Gosh. Look at me. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's from my old base. <laughs> oh, this one's actually on the RG, so you probably have more somewhere else. Oh, yeah, that'll be yours, then. Yeah, mine must be... Um, oh, is I it just, on the Bronto? I just dropped him on the ground on me. If you want to take these and use them to oh, build. maybe not. Yeah, sure. Um, wait, where did you go? Argentavis. Ah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Is that even how you say it? I feel like I've always sent th said that wrong. I know I kept saying the um... Petrodon or whatever. Yeah, I always call it a pterodactyl just because that's that's just what I know it as. <laughs> yeah, and that's what it is. <laughs> okay, pterodon. I get some. I, I, yeah, I guess some people got some huff for that, but I never did really. Oh, it, that was what it, like it caused so much chaos. Was everyone started calling the new. Gigantosaurus, the Gigantosaurus, where it's actually called a gig gigatosaurus. Giganotosaurus. Oh, yes. It's like it's such a tongue twister to try and actually say that. <laughs> well, I have two of those over there, so we actually should probably rename. Them. Oh wait, I did rename them. God. This force that like my base was in before is actually pretty cool because it like glows when you're in it. It's, it's weird at nighttime. Ow. Oh, was that the the blue tint you were talking about in yeah. your um, video? Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. Got a little brighter. I just got hit by a Bronto like four times. That was great. <laughs> uh, where's the stone foundation gone? Uh oh. Oh, need to get the stone off the uh, Dodicarus. Building supplies. Don't need that much hide. Fiber, fiber, fiber is good. Empty base, little bow, some ceilings, narcos. Come back for the rest. Those narcos could come in handy because of all those um, allosauruses we've, we saw when we came over. Right. Oh, there's some ants coming. The weight is just terrible. What have you got yours at at the moment? Because so like I'm at 320. Yeah. Three, oh Jesus. <laughs> I'm at 320 and I feel as though I have a bad time. <laughs> yeah, I have a really bad time compared to that. I have a ton of metal over here too. I have almost... Oh, I have like 400 metal. You barely have enough space to carry a berry. I know. I can't carry berry, berries, but I have a ton of metal. So <laughs> I make a lot of trips. So I can't move. Why? I picked up a berry. <laughs> help! Send <laughs> help! It's a, it's a Tinto Berry! They're extra heavy! <laughs> Should've brought the other Argentavis. Carry some more stuff, but this is a good start. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. It's always a slow start when you move bases. So it's the worst thing ever, is moving base after you've made one. And demolishing everything, bringing everything over. Hopefully, having the dinos to actually move everything. <laughs> With them out, without actually, I mean, we did well without them dying on the way. That's an considering how far we went. Yeah, because that was that was a long. That was probably the biggest base move I've ever done. Because normally I would, normally when I built a base, I've gone, oh, that that area over slightly over there is better. Then I'll move, and that'll that'll be fine. This was like across the entire map. The entire practically. map. Through the swamp too, which is pretty unheard of. To go and escape through the swamp and we only lost one because we had him set to passive yeah it was we wouldn't have lost anybody if he hadn't been on passive but we obviously when we were doing the whole um crossing, crossing those little bridges and stuff it was like yo we better put them on passive just so they don't <laughs> take a running dive <laughs> all right back here i think the opening to the video is definitely going to be the bronto diving off the cliff though because that oh, was funny it has to be that was funny. I have a cool little roll of them going across the bridge too, like all together. And they're following you. Nice. So that's good. Um, so I'm just gonna drop. I probably should have landed in here. So you're just gonna build this square, or? Were you thinking? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm cool with a square. A square. I can always add on to it. Whatever. You want to just start with like a three by three or something like that? Or a three by four? Oh, I was just um, 
I also seen how far I can go this way and it's still look okay. I think this is as far as we can go this way without like having hovering bits of base. Right. Yeah, if we have to make like multiple anyways, it's not really a big deal. It's, it's not a bad idea actually building multiple just to have some decoys, like just have just have a square box with nothing in it. Right. Make it look like it's got something in it. <laughs> we we won't do that on camera. <laughs> I'm just hey, gonna build Which one it. is it? Oh, we saw the video of them building it. <laughs> I was going to put the workbench right there, so you can... Sweet, yeah, let's put some... Bit of everything in there. I'll have to go kill some scorpions and get some uh, chitin to fix my armor. I'll kill a couple of trikes. We probably have enough metal. Oh, well, we don't have fabricator in it, so... No, oh, you don't need the fabricator for... Um... Oh, flak? Yeah, we don't. Well, yeah, just grab some metal. Probably should start with that. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab all the that's on the Bronto. Well, not all of it. <laughs> I won't be able to move. Okay. Have you learned it already? Uh, yes, I think I know all of the armor. I think the only one I don't know is the hands or something like that. Hands and helmet. Uh, helmet, hands... Shoes, chest piece, leggings. Yes, oh yeah, I know all of it. Brilliant. Just dumping random stuff in here. I hope that doesn't bother you. That's fine. Did you say you don't know gloves and boots? Uh, yeah. I'll build an extra pair of gloves and boots then. Yeah, well, I'm, I have them because I stole them, but... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I borrowed them on a permanent basis. <laughs> I had to rob my uh, old team before I left, just for protection. Hey, Dodicarus, you get a little far away over there, buddy. You can run into an aloe pack. Let me come back over if here. If it could be arranged, that would actually be a good idea for a, another video on the server, would be to have those tribes unite back up again to do a massive um, PvP base raid. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I don't know what, they're, what the rules on alliances are, so maybe... We'll I'm, I'm not sure, because obviously I've only just got, um, only just got Discord. And um, I haven't seen what the actual rule set is. Yeah. So I've just been playing very carefully. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what the rules are. <laughs> I know you can't have any... Uh... What is the map style? It's like... Uh... The ones where the Jaboas are from? Oh, um... I can't... Scorched Earth. You can't have any Scorched Earth items. That's one of the main ones. No building in caves. That's another one. I don't think the Scotch Death items are in the game, are they? There's only the dinos. Yeah, the Jerboas. I don't know what else. Bury yourself. I like burying that guy for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I did when the, um, the Scotch Death came out and I got one of those elemental rock creatures. I just kept constantly doing the animation because I was like, that's just so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this little guy? What do you currently need? Walls and pretty much everything? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I'm just transferring a lot of the um, stuff off the Bronto into the smithy because there's the crystals and whatnot. Uh, fabricator needs oil. Oh, what do I not have? Thatch or something? Thatch, fiber, okay. What 